Good morning. Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys have a wonderful Monday morning. Uh, in the chat, I went ahead and just said, uh, tell me something good that happened last week. Tell me, put it in the chat. What do you guys, uh, tell me something good that happened. Huh? Anything happened crazy? Anything good? Good morning. Good morning. Awesome. 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 Well, um, if you guys want to go and put anything in the chat, that's fine. If not, now I just want to share with you, there's a few of you guys on. There's a, I'm going to wait a few more minutes just to see if anybody else joins on as well, uh, which is fantastic. Celebrated a couple of V-Days. Awesome. All right. Good deal. Good deal. Is that is that yours, Christopher, as well? No, no. Nah, nah, it's um, some other family. Um, oh, a gotcha. couple of my uh, wife's siblings. Oh, nice. Nice. Good, good, good. Well, congratulations. That's, that's happy birthday on that. It looks like someone else is joining as well. That's awesome. And then we got, uh, all right, good deal, good deal. Awesome, awesome. Hey, so uh, today uh, I just want to share with you for a few of you guys on um, that I am aware uh, that some of you guys' orders haven't been processed yet. Uh, just a handful of you guys, just a small amount of you guys. Uh, so I just wanted you to understand our team is working on that. Normally we get that done normally in the first of the fifth. Like I mentioned, I apologize if just a handful of you guys will be uh, into the end of the day today or tomorrow. Um, so just want to share that with you guys. So I apologize, but we are aware of that. So thank you. And then also um, now most of you guys, I'm very excited, pumped up um, just for being on. If you could go ahead and mute yourself uh, just so we can hit the ground running. But today is going to be a little bit of mindset. Uh, and motivation and, and a little bit just, you know, mindset. I, and, and one of the reasons why I always talk about mindset, and I know most of you guys think, oh, gosh, you know, that's kind of cliche, right? A lot of people say that. That's just annoying, blah, blah, blah. But I, I always look at this as, as mindset. See, there's knowledge versus wisdom, right? Knowledge is we read a book and we go, oh, that was a good book. Well, wow, that was really cool. I, that was really inspiring. And then we put it down and then we don't implement what we just learned. OK, and that's the difference between wisdom. Wisdom is actually doing what we know we need to do. And so I'm just curious um, who all listened to Trevor Baker and who all read that audio book from last week that I recommended on Wednesday. Uh, just put a little a number two in the chat if you did that. Number two in the chat if you did, uh, whether it's Trevor Baker. And then if so, what did you learn? Very okay, good. Number two. Awesome. OK, good deal. Um, Vince, what did you learn from Trevor Baker? You can unmute yourself if you like, Vince. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. I I, I lost uh, lost my way. The uh, I, I, um, we're talking about the unbeatable mind. Well, there's an audio book, yes, and, and just tell me what you uh, what you remember of that. And then there's also that uh, Trevor Bacon that I sent in the uh, in the chat. But if you didn't get that, that's yeah, no, I apologize. I was thinking I was, okay. it was unbeatable mind. Uh, also, I, yeah, go ahead, really, tell me, what did you learn from the um, unbeatable mind? You're good. You're well, good. Yeah, j well, the uh, uh, breathing techniques and some of the things that he, he talks about with regards to just managing your um, emotional state and, uh, like you said, mindset, you know, how, how important that is. And uh, definitely, it's definitely. Not, it's, I, don't, I don't think it's something people readily think about. Hundred percent. Yeah, I appreciate you. Appreciate you sharing that. Uh, and and you're exactly right. And that's one of the reasons why I'm going to talk about it. I'm going to kind of talk a little bit a few other things here. Uh, but one of the reasons why I always like to talk about mindset is because I was talking to someone about uh, two weeks ago. Uh, he made four million dollars in one year. And I said, okay, that's awesome, man. That's incredible. And he was spouting about, you know, I, I held this position. I was a VP of this position. I thought, well, that's awesome. That's incredible. And I just listened. And I said, then why are we talking? If, if you're so successful, why in the world are we talking? Then? And he says, well, because I lost it all. <laughs> and I said, no, how did you do that? Right? I mean, you're making $4 million, That's That's kind of hard to lose all that. He says, well, I made some bad financial investments. I made, you know, I got a divorce. And, you know, that that's costly. And da, 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 da. One thing led to the next. And and then as we as I figured out, he, he's, he's very, um, he you know, has a lot of connections. But I'm not saying it arrogantly. I just realized that, you know, here was a guy that was broken. But what I loved about it was he was humble enough to say, hey, you know what, I need help. Right. Um, and one of the things that I want to share with people is that intentionality. Right. Living a life of intentionality, intention. Right. John Maxwell talks a lot about this. 
I don't know if you've, uh, if any of you guys are familiar with it, but if you go to John Maxwell Intention, Intentionality with, on YouTube, it's really good information. But let me explain to you kind of what this, um, what this, exp uh, what this is in, in my perspective. So my wife and I, when we first got married, you know, we would just go watch, you know, Netflix movies and series and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, oh, that was so cool. That was fun. Da, 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 da. And earlier in our life. And then we started, I started realizing that that was all of our conversation. And we would go on a date night. We'd be talking about fictional characters, fictional characters, for God's sake. That was our time that we spent. We weren't talking about vision. We weren't talking about dreams. We weren't talking about how many people were going to impact and millions of people that were going to totally financially uh, eradicate debt from. No, we're, we're talking about fictional godforsaken characters that will never make an impact in my life. And so what I realized very quickly that our life was in a, uh, in, in a terrible situation, right? In our marriage. And so I started, you know what, why don't we eliminate watching Netflix? Now we still do, you know, on, on a weekend or whatever, but we're not doing that every evening, right? As, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a marriage. And so one of the things I want to share that with you is because see what instead what we did was we're starting to read little, you know, uh, books and things like that, that, um, that make us question, make us, you know, uh, and talk about certain items. And the reason why I'm mentioning that is because living an intentional life, it, it's exhausting, right? Yeah, it, it's, it's exhausting because you have to do it. Most of us, we just want to sit back. And that's what I think, you know, many of you guys on, on this, this meeting here, you guys are very successful. Many of you guys are making 100,000. Now, many of you guys are struggling financially. However, though, that's why you guys invest into this. But um, you know, living an intentional life really, you know, says, okay, well, not only reading the compound effect, but implementing some of their, their things. See, and that's one of the reasons why I have people read and implement and stuff like that. Now, um, I don't know if you guys are going to actually implement some of the books and some of the you know, techniques that they mentioned, you know, breathing as well as, you know, habitual, um, you know, being aware of your habits, but that is, can be massively, massively impactful. Uh, so for example, my, um, and it wasn't until this year where I really started becoming very, very aggressive with it. Uh, I used to always, you know, uh, kind of look at my metrics on a weekly, week to week basis. Now, does anybody else do that? Looking at metrics and uh, just personal, whether you guys work out metrics, whether you guys eating, you know, some people watch their calories very tight. Uh, and anybody does that, you know, type of two in there. It looks like, yeah, Vince, yes. Do you do that in In finance, I would imagine you probably do that in finance, but also do calories or what specifically? To, to Jim, Santa Maria. Okay, Jim, what do you do regarding that? Is that in calorie count or is that Christopher? Yes. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And what what what, what specifically then? What would you say? Would that be? I could jump on here real quick. Um, yeah, um, I would say calories. <laughs> Um, I, uh, since we, uh, me and my wife do martial arts, I would say, you know, nice. how well, how well my pants fit, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I would say, I mean, you, you don't really, uh, there's not really data, but I mean, you do take an assessment, you know, on how your clothes fit. Um, I mean, as well as finances, of course, like you were saying, um, another thing is, you know, you measure metrics when, uh, you know, I play video games with my friends, obviously you, know, you try to level up. So you got to measure all those metrics and all that, all that that goes into. And, um, so when you're, when you're reading, when you're doing those metrics on a week to week basis, do you have an ultimate goal that you work your way, you work yourself backwards and you say, okay, you know what? I, uh, I want to accomplish this every week to be able to, uh, you know, attain that larger goal three, six, you know, nine months mm -hmm. down the road. Yeah. Yep. Um, Another metric is uh, how much water you drink uh, a day. Okay. Awesome. So, awesome. Okay, good, yeah. good. And so um, now on that, uh, now, do you do that? Do you have that uh, metrics, th those metrics in, you know, whether that be your finances or whether that be just, you know, like, Hey, I'm reading my book, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, development of your mind, things like that as well, or uh, not yet. Um, they're not really, I wouldn't say I have like a journal of it. Um, but like I have like a 32 ounce Yeti cup that I have on my desk and I just try to like the simple goal is to try and drink two of them a day. So if I can get 64 ounces of water um, throughout the day, then uh, that's how I reach my goal. Awesome. Thanks so much, Chris. I appreciate you sharing. And, uh, you know, also Vance, I really appreciate you sharing as well. So, and again, one of the reasons why, you know, doing that is, is being intentional. Now, one of the things I've learned um, is, is again, making sure that, Hey, you also have a metrics, but you work your way backward on, on it. 
So let's say, for example, you want to pay off X amount of debt. You know, debt. Well, what does it take? What do you need to accomplish to be able to get there? Same thing with, you know, on, on, a, on a daily, weekly basis. Well, uh, you know, if you want to, um, uh, uh, you know, you just have these certain habits. Now, one of the things I've been able to do is I read about two books a, a week. Uh, now, what, how I do it is I very simply, I go to YouTube. I put things in 1.5 speed and I listen to an audiobook. That's how I'm able to really, you know, complete that. That's, that's just how my brain works. Some people do it physically, you know, reading through a, a physical book. Now that's, I just want to share the intentionality living with intention. I would recommend, you know, um, not when you're reading compound effect, putting those habits in play and realizing that it works positively or negatively right now. I'm a big Oreo guy. I like in my, my, my milk, my milk and cookies and Oreos. Okay. And I know I, I eat, I eat a lot of those. Uh, <laughs> buy too much than, than I should, but I just want to share that. That's something that I realize. In order to you know compensate that, of course, and I also focus on you know uh, eating you know vitamins, you know, eating vitamins and stuff like that. Now, compound effect, people per perfect. Oh, also, I want to share this with you because I thought this was very uh, very remarkable that we want to talk about. So we all know at some point, and if one of you guys could put your, I think Kathleen, maybe put yourself on mute just for a second there. Uh, now, one of the things I want to share with you is the idea of self actualization. You have to understand who you are. Now, some people like like myself, I read audiobooks because that's just how my brain works. And I put into 1.5 speed because, well, that's just, you know, I, can, I can consume a lot faster in a, in a shorter period of time. Now, some people, they like to have a physical book, right? So I'm not telling you exactly how to do it, but I am just telling you, you, you need to do it. You need to read about 30 to 40 minutes a day uh, to really compound your, definitely if someone that's not making below 100,000, you probably need to be re reading almost 30 to 40 minutes a day. If someone wants to push their life over 100 to 200,000, then that's where you need to be, you know, reading about a book a, a week, really, uh, to really obtain that about 52 books a, a year. Okay, if you're at that mark and you want to, you know, obviously ex exponentially grow, well, then that's where you start, you know, uh, surrounding yourself with other individuals that are higher, um, higher mindset. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to share this with you is that um, you have to understand your personality. So I always hate the question when you ask someone, you know, like if you've ever listened to Tony Robbins and he talks about his, his daily routine, his morning routine, man, I go in there and I'm like, you know, just full throttle. I, I jump in 62 degree water. I'm just like, yeah, man, this is it. And, you know, I meditate and all this stuff. That just doesn't work. First of all, I don't have a pool that's 62 degrees. Perfect. And I jump in it like that. I just don't have that. But one of the things I realized is that sometimes we have these, these hurdles. And because as our mind thinks, we want, in order to obtain something that we have to do, like we have to journal or we have to read a book, sometimes we make all these rules and regulations. Well, before I, I read a book, I have to be in a quiet area. I have to have the you know, lights dark. I have to be in this area. I have to do this. You know, and There's all these rules in order to do that. right? And what happens is if we do that, then it becomes a whole bunch of hurdles in your way where then you never become be able to do that. And that's, of course, procrastination. Now, the way I look at this is like, for, for example, journaling. So a friend of mine, he, he mentioned he journals all the time. And he says it's been totally you know, beneficial for him. And he also meditates. And um, the thing is, is I suck at writing. I don't like writing. I don't, I don't really care for it. I suck at journaling. And so for the longest time, I try to journal and I did it for a week. And then I did it for a few days. And then it'd be vacation, a Memorial Day. And I forget to do it, you know, that one day. And so then what happens is then all of a sudden you don't do it. And one of the things that I realized then is I realized my personality more than anything else is, hey, you know what? It's actually to do, um, do videos. So I made it simple and I got rid of all the hurdles because I needed the right journal and I needed a daily journal. I need to spend 50, 70 bucks on a cool looking journal. And I realized, you know what? Instead of having a journal, what I needed to do is just do something that fit my personality. So the reason why I'm saying this is because it, it, I want you to understand that each one of you guys have a different personality than mine. And you guys have to figure out what works with you. So when you're doing your metrics, maybe you don't journal, maybe you don't you know, read a book, maybe you, you like to listen to audio, maybe you like to watch videos. Hey, that's fine. There's different ways to consume content and just do it so whatever works with you, okay? And so that's my whole point. Now, one of the things I learned from a, a cool um, NFL player is he says, we have to get our daily win in. Now, what do I mean by this? Well. Our daily win is, hey, you know what? 
I can't control yesterday. I can't control tomorrow. But what I can't control right now is today. And you know what? I, I, you know, I missed, I missed uh, reading a book for 30 minutes yesterday. Or I missed you know, uh, consuming this, this book that Christian mentioned or whatever. Well, you know what? That's okay. But you know what? I'm going to do it now. Right? I'm going to actually implement it right now. And I'm going to do it right now. And, and that's the biggest thing that I want to share because you get your win in every single day. When, you know, I, I would imagine, Chris, you're probably the same way, Vince, uh, you know, numerous of you guys, when you guys go work out, you guys probably don't want to go work out all the time, but you do it because you love the result. And so this is one of the things that I think I go against the crowd. Everybody says, I love what I do. I love what I do. Well, it's not loving what you do. It's loving what you do and loving the result of what you do creates. So, for example, the, the guy that's in the, um, uh, the porta pot business. I guarantee you he doesn't like picking up poop, but I guarantee you he likes the result of what that porta pot business does for his family. Now, why am I saying that? Because not all of us want to go out there and yes, I love reading a book, but I love the result of what that reading that book does. Yeah, I don't like going and you know walking or working out, but I love the result of how it makes me feel. And that's the reason why I do it. So I just wanted to share those, th those, those techniques because it allows you to understand that, you know what, you may not always enjoy it. So many of us, we think, oh, we got to be happy at all times, at all moments. I guarantee you, Elon Musk was not happy when he spent his last $100 million on something that had a 3% you know, success rate, which is, of course, now SpaceX. And now look at him. Well, he now loves the result of what that did, what that created. Now, also, boundaries. And I apologize, my dogs are going nuts right now in my, my office. But boundaries, one of the things I want to share with about boundaries. Now, I'm not talking about personal boundaries with like you know, relationships and stuff like that. Excuse me, give me one second there. Okay, so one of the things I want to talk about is boundaries, like I mentioned. And so boundaries, now, I'm not talking about personal relationship boundaries. Okay. And I'm talking about boundaries in your life. Okay, so like, for example, my wife and I. I come back to the concept of my wife and I, we were at the beginning of our, you know, uh, relationship. We would watch Netflix and stuff like that. Well, what happened was because the, the TV was right there. It was very accessible. It made it very easy. So what I realized in, in my personality is if I made something tough, so eliminate the things that are good for you, eliminate the hurdles in your life. So journaling, you know, uh, reading, uh, you know, metrics, things like that. Make it simple and easy, something that you can do. And then the things that are, you know, that are not good, like Oreos, for example. I put that way up at the top shelf because guess what? I have to get the stool out and I have to actually put work and I got to go and, and grab those Oreos. I got to come down and then, of course, I got to go get the milk. So I make it tough for me. Now, I know that kind of sounds stupid. However, though, it is very, very accurate because what happens then is you take a bad habit like smoking that's one of the reasons I, I am astounded by people that smoke because you have to go outside, sit in 30 degree weather and smoke. I mean, that you're committed. That's, that's, that's remarkable. I, I couldn't do that for hundred, you know, that's, this is remarkable. But I, what I want to share with you is that when you make a hurdles in your life and the negative habits, so my whole goal with today is really just identifying, okay, what habits do you have that do you want to really focus on? Do you read 30 minutes a day? Well, if you don't, well, I would recommend doing that, making it habitual, making it right there. Hey, you know what I'm doing every morning? I, if you want to run every morning, whatever it is. So I'm actually curious, uh, you know, so, some of you guys, I know you guys mentioned you guys are fitness and, and, and um, mint money. How do you guys create habits that are systematic in your life that are very easy to flow with that make it easy for you because you know your personality and you know your weaknesses? So go ahead, uh, anybody want to share, uh, just raise their hand or, you know, type a number two and then I'll call on you. Type a number two in there and I will, uh, I will call on you. If you guys want to share what, what's your guys' um... – nope, no, nope, okay, that's cool. <laughs> All right, no problem, no problem. So uh, if you guys don't want to share, that's fine too, okay. Chris, yeah, uh, Sandy, go ahead first, Sandy, and I'll come to you, Chris, okay? Go ahead, All Sandy. Right. Hi. Um, what I do is, you know, I, I have an Etsy shop where I make planners. So I thought, you know, I, I need to practice what I preach. How can I sell a product if I'm not using it and telling my customers how to use it? So 
in order to accomplish my goals, I have to plan out my day by the hour. And, you know, it's pretty much my list of to do's along with appointments, meetings, things I need to get done. So the way I check my progress is at the end of the day, I, I look at everything in my planner and what I accomplished that day that I wrote down. And um, if I, you know, for some reason, if I didn't get to something, then I, it goes on the next day. So that's, that's how I just kind of keep my life in check and measure my success is just going by my more or less to-do list for the day. Very good. And so Sandy, I'm curious, do you work yourself backwards as well? Like you have a big vision and, and you know, say, hey, you know what, I want to sell X amount of product on your Etsy. And then you work your way back and say, what does it take to get there on a week to week basis or, you know, daily day, uh, day to day activity or. Well, not to that extent, because, you know, I can, I mean, I can write down that I want to sell so much a day until the day I die, but it, I don't really have a lot of control over that, you know, because I don't <laughs> buy ads. I just have to make sure I keep up with my social media and, and post and things. Um, but I do look at my metrics and say, okay, how many people looked at my shop today and, and what can I do to possibly improve, um, you know, the people that come to my shop, but don't buy. So I, I do look at the metrics as far as that goes. Awesome. That's awesome. I appreciate you sharing, Sandy. And then also uh, I know Chris, you wanted to share, go ahead and share real quick. Yeah, just real quick about like you were saying, um, like weekly habits, right? On mm -hmm. on things you do a weekly. Um, I always tell my mom um, that uh, I have a uh, a personal uh, budget meeting with myself uh, on Mondays because um, you know if everybody you know big corporations and everyone have have budget meetings. I mean, I so I made yeah. it a habit to do my own personal budget meeting, and <laughs> so when. Sometimes if I call or whatever, or, you know, I'll just, Hey, can I call you back? I'm in a meeting. I mean, it's just me, myself and I, and, you know, of course, <laughs> you know, if you want God with you, uh, you know, involved in your finances then you invite him there too, but everybody's different. But, um, and, and yeah, I'll just have that. And I'll then go through my finances and kind of see, like you were saying, either go backwards or forwards on, um, where you, you need all, you know, your funds allocated or all right you just kind of remind yourself when I'm getting paid again and all those things that are involved. Yeah. That's awesome, man. That's really incredible. And I'm glad you do that. And also one of the things you mentioned there, Chris, that I, and I don't know if anybody else does this, but really, you know, uh, being disciplined with your time because as, and, and what I always find very interesting, one of the, one of the things that I always, uh, I'm, I'm astounded by um, is, you know, how people commit so much to their job, right? So people walk in at four o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, miss sleep, why? Because, you know, they need that paycheck, right? Uh, they're dog, dog exhausted, they're, 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 uh, they're, they're sick, whatever it is, and they still walk into that job. Why? Because they need that, that, that paycheck. And most of us, we, we don't wake up early to go work out. We don't, you know, uh, and, and I'm not saying you guys, because, of course, you know, you guys are winners, right? But I just want to share some people you see that in them, right? You see people, well, you know, I, I just feel, you know, definitely when you become self-employed, I say, well, I, I could take today off. I earn it. I deserve it, right? And then you start realizing, well, shoot, you know, this person, a security guard, police guy doesn't take, you know, days off uh, because guess what? He's, he's got to go in. He's got to work. Um, and I think that was kind of cool what you just mentioned, Chris, and I just, you know, um, emphasized you family. And God love them. I love them tremendously. But family can be a very, very big uh, proponent of your success. Right. Because guess what? Oh, mom needs, you know, me to do the garden. Oh, you know, dad needs me to do this. Oh, you know, uh, Alfred, you know, my, my, my brother, my sister, blah, blah, blah. But what would be better? To go and 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 fix up their their you know their lawn and mow their lawn or pay someone to do it for them because you're you're so wealthy, right? Uh, and that's that's the kind of situation you you want to be in is where you know what, um, you have that kind of resources to be able to do that. Anybody anybody else? Take your word left on vacation, Shane. <laughs> uh, and then anybody else want to share here? Awesome, I appreciate you sharing, Chris and. Um, I'm actually curious, Vince, uh, I know you, you work with some larger numbers. If, if, if you don't mind me uh, putting a little bit of attention on you, I'd love to hear kind of what you do uh, for your business, but also personal. If you're willing to share, if not, that's fine. No, no, that's, that's fine. I, um, yeah. So I, I mean, I, so I have my commercial real estate business and that um, 
takes up a, a big chunk of my time. Um, but I, what's nice about real estate is kind of like what I'm trying to do with you is is build a recurring income that doesn't require my time. Um, because then I can I can spend time like you guys have been ch chatting about re you know reading, uh, working out. Um, we uh, got a couple dogs I need to walk a few times a day, and, and um, you know spend time with my kids and that kind of thing. So you know my you know my routine and and, and there's a great book called Miracle Morning that I recommend to everybody is it's just just about uh, what you're describing. Uh, Christian is just how you start your day is is really important, um, and, and it's funny too that the book you recommended, that uh, Unbeatable Mind, um, a Navy SEAL guy, you know, that he talks about that very thing, mm -hmm. is you know having you know getting into a routine that you can measure yourself and your own personal goals and objectives. So having you know, some meditation time, reading a couple of chapters of a book in the morning, uh, you know, doing your workout, you know, before you sit down and actually get into the meat of your day. Um, and I, I, that's what I find helps me the most is to make sure that my mornings line up because then the rest of my day usually goes really well. That's awesome. That's awesome. Excellent. Excellent. I really appreciate you sharing that. And, uh, yeah. And, and again, I mean, it, it comes down to that, but you always have to find what, what works for you. I appreciate you sharing Vince. Um, and that's one of the reasons why we want to just discuss this and talk about this, because, again, how do you how do you exponentially you know, develop your, yourself right, on, on a consistent basis? So we talk about boundaries. Uh, and again, you're really identifying the boundaries. Right. And if you know, hey, you know what, I, I like. To sleep in, well, you know, make, and, and, and people have talked about this a lot of times, but, you know, again, it's nothing new. But it's just a matter of, to me, it's a matter of doing it, right? It's action, right? Actions speak louder than words, 100%. And then also knowledge versus wisdom, actually, you know, not just reading this, these books, but actually implementing that in your life. Um, I have a metric sheet, and uh, it's a very simple thing. Uh, you know, when I go work out, I, I don't do, uh, you know, my, my whole thing is, hey, I do I do a workout, and I focus on that, and I do one to two extra reps every single time, and that's fine. And then also what I want to do here is I want everybody to do this activity, Okay. I don't know if many of you have done this before, but I want to fictionally give every single one of you $250 million. Fictionally give you $250 million in your bank account. And what I want you guys to do is I want you to allocate that sucker. And the reason why is because it'll blow your mind of how much maybe your, your mind has not been able to you know, acknowledge how much 250. 250 will solve almost majority of your problems. You, you know, spend... 20 million at, at something, you throw 20 million at something, it's, it's going to solve that, that, that situation. Now, it doesn't solve every problem. I understand that. It doesn't solve cancer. However, though, it solves those cancer bills. So what I want to do, though, much more than just 250 million, if you could, Corey, go ahead and uh, mute yourself there if you could. Uh, but 250 million, though, when you allocate it, I don't want you to go, I want to give $10 million to charity. I want you to be specific. I want to give $5 million to Salvation Army every year for the rest of my life. Cool. That allocates $40 million. Wonderful. I want to give $2 million to this. I want to add, you know, Elon Musk, I want to you know, invest in his companies at 40 bucks a share, $10 million. Boom. Okay. I want you to allocate every single one. I want to pay off my debt. And you realize, holy shoot, it doesn't take much to pay off your debt. Okay. Um, so is that something I, I really want you guys to do that because it's going to exponentially grow your mind and say, wow, shoot, that's that's a lot of money. OK. And then also. Um, now, I, I know I mentioned I, mean, I know I mentioned this earlier, but I know some people just joined. OK, fantastic. I wanted to let you some of you guys know uh, early in the meeting, I mentioned this uh, Mondays are more motivational, but mindset specifically where we talk about habits, we talk about knowledge, wisdom. Them, things like that we're going to be talking about discussing uh the biggest thing i always say is, is really um, action but also i mentioned this is uh, just a handful of you guys that i know and i'm aware our team that uh, your orders still need to be processed so we're aware of that we're fantastic we're going to go and process that end of the day today uh latest tomorrow morning or something like that uh but i just want you to know i'm aware of that uh, so i appreciate you letting me know uh wednesdays and fridays are more like um uh more business obviously getting into metrics looking at youtube looking at activity things like that 
Um, so that's the homework for, for this. Uh, did you guys all get the access to Trevor Baker? Did any of you guys read or listen to the Trevor? I put that in the chat and maybe maybe some of you guys didn't actually click on it. So let me know if you guys did because I can I can send that in again. I started to listen to it, um, Christian, but he talked so fast I couldn't <laughs> understand him. I didn't know what he was saying. Yeah, he does. He does. <laughs> Talk very, very fast. Yeah. You may have to slow it down to 0.75 in, in YouTube there, uh, honestly, because he talks extremely fast. Uh, please send it again. Yeah, Vince, I just sent it over to you in the chat, everybody. So you should be able to see that come through. Um, so you just go ahead and click on that. Uh, it's, it's, um, he's a cool guy, uh, makes 5 million mid 30s uh, in, this, in this business and in industry. Okay. And um, excellent, excellent, excellent. Well, like I mentioned, that's really what I want to talk about today. It's going to be shorter. Uh, again, next, uh, we got one on Wednesday here, and I'll send over Friday's, um, Friday's links. Um, again, anybody want to add uh, anything in there? Like, uh, got it? Well, uh, anybody want to add anything about their habits, their, their strategy on their morning routines, or as well as just the way that they overcome in their mindset, how they take action all the time instead of you know, procrastinating? Anybody want to share their... There, there are techniques on any of that there. Just type a two in into the chat and then I will I will call on you here. So if any if any if any of you guys want to mention that. Jim, are you Jim, Santa Maria, are you still in here? Because I, I mean I'd love to get your perspective on how you're constantly working out and using those metrics on a week to week basis. No? Okay, that's fine. He's probably working right now. Okay. Yeah, Denise, I'm going to send that over to you today. So um, you should see that come through. Uh, she asked it. I didn't get a replay of the last session. We'll send that over to everybody so you guys have access to that. So you guys know how to do all that. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Tim, I know you just joined as well. Uh, Tim, we're just talking about real quick, uh, you know, a synopsis of the book. Um, you know, a few individuals mentioned some really great things. We also talked about, you know, um, knowledge versus wisdom. Actually, when you read these books, actually implementing what, they, what they're talking about, you know, habits, um, um, being intentional with those. Um, I didn't know if anybody wanted to share their technique on how to overcome in their mindset on the procrastination concept and actually just keep pushing and, and taking action at, at a massive um, capacity if you wanted to share that, uh, as well as um, their, their way of metrics and measuring you know, their consistent success. I don't know, Tim, do you do any of that? Or Denise, do you do any of that uh, me measuring on a, on a week to week basis? Well, I'm starting to. I have, I do have a little, um, what's it called? A doc in Google Docs to do that, but I really haven't gotten in a rhythm yet. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, that's awesome. And then the biggest thing is just starting. Um, do you find, I'm just curious, do you find the Excel spreadsheet in Google Docs? Do you find it very easy to accessible? And like, you know, like, uh, Making sure it's like very simple. It's like something that you can achieve almost every single day or every week. Or do you find yeah. it like it's just. Yeah, actually, somebody showed me how you go into your bookmarks and make a special folder called whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. go ahead. And put all those important things that you want to track or look up. And then when you open that bookmark, they're all there. Here we go. Very good. Awesome. 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 Good. And then uh, Kathleen, Rabia, Vin, Will, uh, Corey, um, uh, Tim, Larry, anybody want to share specifically on their, on their habits, on their metrics? Uh, do you guys measure that or not really? Is that something you guys need to implement on a week to week basis? Um, yeah, I, my, I use um, metrics loosely. Um, I'm, I'm not as consistent with it. I'm using you know, pen and paper with my in my notebook, but um, I wanted to address kind of how how to kind of push through. I use I I've been doing box breathing um, before um, before I read about it in in the uh, Unbeatable Mind, and I think that's kind of a good way to uh, to use to uh, to um, to kind of push through things that need to happen. Um, I also it sounds funny. I also use daydreaming. A lot of people claim visualization works, but I use daydreaming, kind of envisioning myself going through motions of uh, uh, of uh, uh, executing what needs to happen. So, uh, but no, I need 
there's always something that needs to get improved. And I think tracking for me is, is something I have to uh, put, a, put more effort into. That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, so let, let me ask you, do, is it, why do you think that was kind of, is it just because it's not a habit of yours or you just never really became intentional with it? Or what do you think that would be? Or is it just, you just haven't found the right system to be able to uh, make it systematic, if you will? Yeah, I just think there's a lot of things, um, you know, making this switch over from a, from a, a, from an employee to an entrepreneur, there's just things that you have to, you have to implement. And so I'm still in that process of making that full transition um, and, and making myself accountable. So um, it's, it's, I think it's more so a uh, mindset shift. Okay, gotcha. Well, thanks for sharing, Tim. I really appreciate it. Yeah. So, because again, I, I know some people do it differently. Uh, some people have notes. Some people just do it mentally. I know, Will, you mentioned that. Uh, you know, make more mental notes. Uh, Will, are you going to, you know, kind of start tracking it through an Excel spreadsheet? Some of your your your, your long term goals and obviously how to work, you know, work your way there, um, or. Yes. Awesome. Okay. Good. Good. And then also, okay. Anyway, okay. Good. And then also Vince mentions Blinkist is a very good app for getting through uh, books that provide a brief version grab books. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. I didn't, I didn't know that. That's awesome. Okay. Good deal. And then um, what kind of books do they have? I would imagine all sorts of different kind of books then on that. <laughs> to talk of procrastination. Yeah. yeah. No, um, yeah, no, they, they, um, a lot of business books, sales books, um, you know, a attitude, you know, there, there's, I, I've not really uh, gone looking for a book that I can't find in there. Um, but they, they do a really nice job of abbreviating awesome. them and, and awesome. condensing That's good. them. Okay. That that awesome. That's great. I appreciate you sharing that word. Uh, and then I know, Kathleen, you're at work, so I appreciate you just jumping in anyways. I know some of you guys are at work still. Uh, but that's that's a good recommendation. And then also there's um, there's two YouTube. Uh, Vince just mentioned the procrastination. Uh, that's that's really good information. And then if you would scroll up, I also sent over the um, Trevor Baker YouTube uh, thing in there as well. Uh, and now one of the things I mentioned, some of you guys joined on a little later. Um, I mentioned people to do. Um, fi I want to give fictionally everybody two hundred fifty million dollars. And I, I truly want you guys. I don't know if you guys want to text it to me or if you guys want to email it to me. Uh, but I, yeah, many of you guys have my email. But I would like to look at what you guys spend it. So I would like to go ahead and fictionally you have $250 million in your bank account. How are you going to spend that sucker? How are you going to spend it all, right? You start realizing, okay, you know what? I have $200,000 in debt. Well, shoot, now I still have, you know, $249 million still left, right? So uh, you start realizing that, you know, money will solve a lot of this, those, those situations. But I want to kind of really, you know, um, um, impact your mind a little bit and explode your mind to see, okay, you know what? And I want you guys to be very, very um, intentional with, okay, where am I spending that? Not just, hey, I did $10 million to charity. Be very specific with it. What are you going to spend it spend it on? Who are you going to spend it on? You know, how much on a weekly, week basis or a monthly basis or what that looks like exactly? Not $10 million in real estate. No, I want you to say, okay, what kind of real estate? You know, who, where would you spend it? Uh, would you spend it in, in you know, uh, commercial? Would you spend it on, you know, personal? Would you spend it on larger productions? So just let me know where would you spend it? Um, but other than that, um, I'm going to kind of go from there. That's it. Uh, I'm going to send over the, uh, the calendar, uh, the calendar invite for this Wednesday at seven to 8 PM. And, um, again, I appreciate you guys all being on here. Uh, today's, uh, Mondays are more of just mindset. And I know mindset is just so cliche, but it is very cliche because it's true. It really always comes down to, to mindset. And, uh, again, one of the things I, and why I'm, I'm talking about this is because each one of you you're going to make 70, $80,000. Okay. An extra hundred. Some of you guys will push beyond to 200, 300, $400,000. But the thing is, is I want to make sure that you guys are prepared. I'm, I was mentioning earlier on that I talked to someone earlier. This, Christian, uh, is that month, per month, motion? Is that per month? month? You need $4 million. It was Christian, Christian, is that, that per, was that per month or on an annual basis you're referring to? Thank you. For, for 250 million? No, in general, you were, you were mentioning you, you were climbing oh, the, the income? increments. Yeah, the income, correct. Yeah, so some, some people will, yeah, so some people will, will make, 
um, you know, 70, 80,000 a year. And some individuals will, you know, like Trevor Baker, who you're going to listen to, he makes roughly 250,000 a month. Okay. He makes roughly 5 million a year through the, uh, through the Amway organization system. Okay. Um, so that's why I'm having you guys read that. Now I know he talks fast. So one of the things I would recommend doing is put it in a 0.75 on YouTube. Um, but just to explain a little bit further, the reason why I'm doing this for many of you guys, guys is because you guys will make money but it's a matter of what are you going to do with the money okay so as we keep building these relationships we're going to be talking about mindset we're going to be talking about habits we're going to be talking about metrics because again we've all heard this but what money does is just amplify who you already are okay and you've come this far wherever you're at by yourself so you need a different mindset different thinking to get beyond that so many of you guys do very well. You guys do very well, but you guys are still in a job or you guys are self-employed. So you're stuck in that you know, left side of the quadrant. So in order to have a business, you have to have something working for you. And that's what we're doing here. So uh, again, um, very excited for every single one of you guys. Thanks, Christopher. Okay, boom, boom, boom. I don't work. Road to Platinum. There we go. <laughs> Wonderful. Also, um, Like I mentioned, 250 million fictional, go ahead and put that in there. Send me kind of uh, an email of what, where would you spend it? Uh, and then also making sure you have some habits, finding a system that works for you, measuring your own progress, measuring your own life, uh, putting, you know, hey, you know, I, I, wanna, I wanna read 30 minutes a day. Wonderful, check that off. Um, it's just between you and, and, and yourself really. Uh, and obviously some of these people here on, on, on today's um, meeting. But uh, other than that, you guys, you guys have an awesome rest of the Monday. Enjoy your week. I'm very excited for you guys. Uh, on Wednesdays and, and Fridays, we're going to be talking about metrics and obviously uh, more business related things. Uh, but other than that, you guys, you guys have an awesome Monday. All right. Hey, Christian, quick, quick question. Uh, I, I wasn't, I just signed in. Trevor Baker is, uh, is it the, can you reference what we should be reading? What book? Trevor, Trevor Baker was, was an author, but I didn't get the title. Oh, yeah, here. I'm so sorry. Here. So in the chat there in Zoom is a YouTube video. And that YouTube video is uh, just a, a mastermind that I was involved with, with uh, Trevor Baker speaking. And so I just sent that in the chat again. There. Okay. So oh, you I should see it. that going. Up. Yeah, there we go. So you should yep. be able everybody else should be able to see that. Um, and then, um, you know, okay, enjoy it. You. So yeah, and then we'll talk a little bit about it, you know, Wednesday or, or, or something like that. So hey, you guys, you guys have an awesome rest of the week. Go kick butt, and I will talk to you guys on Wednesday, all right? Bye-bye. Thank, Thank you. you.